speed and power. They have the ability to change direction at an instant. They're very supple, uh, often described cat-like. He floats like sheep. He can jump uh, very easily. Uh, has tremendous power and acceleration. The Count de Fila de San Miguel's bold and imposing stature is a great asset in protection work. In this particular breed, physical appearance is often, uh, and his presence is often enough. His stare is also an intimidating stare. It either can force you into making a move, whether it be aggressive or retractive move, and then the dog will have, has got you in the position he wants you in. And this is pretty, pretty amazing to see dogs do this. And when the situation calls for action, this breed is up to the task. This dog has to have the ability to neutralize a threat. This dog will bite and will stay on the bite and either, told, either command it off the bite or the dog will release on uh, an automatic release as the fight stops. They stay on the one target area. They don't transfer their bites. That's control. That's clear in the dog's head what he should be doing. A dog that bites full and hard, conditioned through muscle activity to bite hard, can break bones. The handler has to be very aware of what he has on the end of their leash. They have high civil uh, defense drive in them naturally to protect, and uh, they need tra training to, to get the best benefit for our way of life. He will guard my vehicle. Uh, I let him out of the vehicle. Couldn't care less about who's around the vehicle. Put him back in the vehicle, it's a different dog again. You have to be, be aware of their sensitivity, um, their quickness to learn. Um, I haven't used any force on this dog. Uh, he's motivated with food. He's motivated by his toy. You do have to exert some dominance somewhere in your training because once they mature, they start to feel powerful and, and you, you have to control and redirect this power. If you can't control your dog, get out of the game. Uh, you should own one. You must have controls. Obedience, obedience, obedience. This is not a first-time dog owner's dog. The dogs that I've placed in families have already had dogs trained by me in the past for personal protection and or area protection. So they are aware of the characteristics of this particular breed, and they are very, very happy. Yeah, they're in families with children. Come on, buddy. They're dealing with a dog with a lot of potential, and if you understand how to use this potential, to its benefit, you'll be farther ahead. Obedience, skill, strength. These highly trained protection dogs are a potent force, and this next breed is no exception. Although you may not quake at the sight of the standard and miniature version, this is definitely a dog with some size behind its stance. The giant schnauzer. Sturdy and strong in body, the giant schnauzer is believed to have originated in the area around Munich, Germany. Giant schnauzers tend to be very athletic. Uh, they tend to want to interact with uh, things in the environment. They tend to be sociable. They can run fast, jump high, um, and they can be protective when needed to be. An excellent dog. Certain parts of Germany still use them as police dogs. And giant schnauzers definitely have a physical presence to them. I, I absolutely think it's a visual deterrence. Very large dog. Uh, and they don't tend to back down from very many things. He's a high energy dog. This isn't the breed for a person who's going to just sit around on the couch. They need room to run. As far as with the kids, he's great. I, mean, I can leave him in the yard with him and feel confident there's no problems whatsoever. The giant can be quite assertive. You need to make sure you're consistent in your training and your methodology, and you need to make sure that you can control the dog. It's a very large dog, a very powerful dog. Turn this giant schnauzer is at an early stage of training for protection work and is capable of alerting at a threat and being called off under control. Q doesn't have any kind of aggression toward me right now. I can just push all of them all want. That means there's no bite. The dog is licking my hand. Now, I'm going to tell Bertram to alert the dog. Watch, watch, watch. 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 Watch.
for it. Friend, 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 friend. Good boy. No Same dog. Good boy. Good boy. It shouldn't be a dog of wow. Uh, this is a domestic dog. This is not a wolf. And that's where we want him. We want him nope. trained to obedience of control. This next giant schnauzer is at a more advanced level in protection training, capable of doing bite work. In this exercise, the dog is being stolen from its owner. And from a distance, the dog is commanded to turn resistance on the thief. Barrel! Yeah. Pass off! There you go. All right. Good boy, Barrel. Oh! Come! Excellent tip. An excellent tip. He's a great friend to have around. If you need to scare off somebody looking to do you harm, well, this next breed may be the one for you. Add some bark to its already imposing impression, and you pretty much have a wall of fight. Coming up at the number four spot. We're uncovering the top ten breeds working in personal protection. Canines that you can count on in a dangerous situation. But it is important to remember that not every dog within these breeds is cut out for elite protection training. Only ones with a stable temperament and the drive to do work are considered. Coming in at number four on our countdown is a canine that struts with confidence. Rottweiler. The descendant of ancient boar hunters, the Rottweiler is a popular breed, both as a family dog and guard dog. A Rottweiler trained properly is a true man stopper. The dog has a lot of courage. It's a big dog, a powerful dog, extremely intelligent dog, highly trainable dog, and they do well as personal protection dogs. They had elements of protection or protection type duties right from their inception. Um, it's specific traits that are bred into the breed. Uh, they do tend to adapt well to other types of situations that may require use of those traits. Originally known as the butcher's dog, the Rottweiler excelled at driving animals to the market or slaughter. The breed was also put to work on the farms of Germany where it was skilled at herding and guarding livestock. Rottweilers excel at personal protection in their visual deterrence. Intimidation, number one. In their physical size and in their ability to stand their ground. Because of the structure of the Rottweiler, a more short, compact, mastiff type dog, he looks more intimidating than a slender, taller dog. Most Rottweilers don't need to bite you. I have seen Rottweilers actually hit agitators and had them unconscious because of the power, the intensity they are coming with. The Rottweiler is a dominant breed and needs an owner that can clearly establish itself as the leader. It's a breed that it would be considered to be like an intermediate breed, not as easy to deal with initially as a German Shepherd. But if you're dealing with a really good, well-bred Rottweiler that is a German working line dog that is a really tough dog that was bred exclusively for working, you need an experienced person because the bite that a Rottweiler can inflict, it's not like your average dog bite. Through training, a Rottweiler can be taught to bark on command and keep harm away. But it's not a naturally vocal breed. You only bark if there is something there to bark at, which is very nice because if you are in the house and you hear your dog barking, you know that there's something there. The one word that Rottweiler owners seem to use again and again to describe their dog is loyal. As long as the Rottweiler is well-bred and socialized from an early age with good obedience training, they tend to make nice family pets uh, as long as the owners uh, have an idea and understanding of dog behavior and body language. A well-trained Rottweiler is probably second to none. the only breed specifically developed to be a canine bodyguard. This next dog is known worldwide for its ability to handle any situation that may arise. The Doberman Pinscher. This breed takes its name from its creator, Louis Doberman, a German tax collector in an unpopular line of work. 
who needed an alert and protective dog to take with them on the job. The Doberman is the most scared dog. The Doberman with crop ears is still the most alert and most scared dog. If somebody on the street sees a Doberman, the first thing they relate it to is some form of personal protection. And this can give the dog the advantage um, in the way of personal protection because sometimes you can get away with just alarm dog training. You do not necessarily have to get into full-out bite work. A true Doberman is a dog that will stand at ground. It, it will not back down. It's very difficult to stress a Doberman. There's nothing, nothing in this world that will stop a good Doberman. They're a very quick dog and they're very sharp. So those two factors right there um, can make it a very lethal dog. Now at the same time, it is a very reliable animal. Doberman Pinscher has even temperament, very loyal and sensitive to family. Um, but when called upon, can become somewhat of a defensive dog. What? The obedience is a must. There's